Herbert, it's me, the sm and we're gonna read some One Direction fan fiction from your favorite preteen girl. I don't. It's by a chick, obviously. Okay, ads were weird. It's called Er. <laughs> Good way to start a title. Why are One Direction behind the sofa? All caps. One Direction fanfic. WA2012. Does that mean it won something? A One Direction fanfic? One something? You know, a lot of people don't live in America, so they don't have free access to guns. I do? Sad. <laughs> oh, dear God. Kylie Moore is just a normal 17-year-old girl with a soft spot for One Direction. That is, until your life is turned upside down by five unexpected boys. <laughs> yeah, shut your stupid whore mouth. But what will life be like? Can she take the drama that comes with One Direction? And what will happen when old terrors return and friendships are tested to their very limits? Not here very limits, mind you. Their very limits. And it has a title cover title that looks like it was made by a person. With, like, f on purpose. Can I cry? Start reading. This is on Wattpad. You you would know if you read the stupid description. Dumb person. Okay. Dedicated to you for clicking on this story. I'm gonna stab you. A.N. Hi guys, this is my first fanfic. Really? I'm so glad! So please go easy on me. I welcome constructive curb sermon and also nice comments votes fans. I know this is short, but I will have a good long plan for the story, so please read. Oh yeah, and the story will have swearing in it and er other stuff. No one says er. No one says er. But if you don't want that, please don't report it. You have been warned. All characters apart from 1D and the plot are copyrighted to me because I wouldn't want anyone to steal these. Thanks, Pizza Lover XX. What's funny is I have no idea whether this is going to be good, but I can just assume that it's going to not be good. I've never heard of a fan fiction about a boy band ever being good. I should write one. Hey, there's an edit. Screw that. Never mind. Lord, it's busy today. I walk down Oxford Street, my light brown, perfectly straight hair bouncing on my back, crystal blue eyes scanning the shop fronts, looking for Christmas presents. Yes, it's 4th November, and I'm looking for Christmas presents. Problem? <laughs> I am going to stab you. Anywho, a bit about me. My name is Kylie Moore. I'm 17. I'm average height and weight. Nothing special. Well, then why are you interesting? The only part of my appearance I like is my eyes. Yeah, that sounds like an average teenage girl. I attend a grammar school in the centra of London. I live in a huge flat above... The, you're so... You're so American. You're so American, it hurts me. My skin is, like, melting off. Ah! Melts get ah. I live in a huge flat above the Hilton Hotel in central London. Well, it's go two levels, so it's more like a house in a skyscraper, but it's ultra-modern, and I adore it. How'd you get the money? You're 17, piece of crap. And did I mention my friends are all... Oh, and where was I? Oh yeah, I lived with my five best friends in the world, but more about them later. The flat was paid for by the school. No problem there. A grammar school, by the way, is for grades pre-K through 6. I don't know whether you know that, but if you're 17 and in grammar school... That, that's, that's a bit sad. Or I shouldn't be making fun of you, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I had a pretty sweet life. And did I mention my friends and I are all huge? Huge One Direction fans. Well, <laughs> apart from one of them, she hates them. I love her, she's my favorite character. My room is covered in 1D posters, and I even have the 1D duvet cover. Because they have duvets in Great Britain. I may be a little obsessed, but oh well. No, not oh well, you need help. Oh my god, there's a video. It's... It's a... It's a... Listen to this, Jesus. It's a... It's a, um... Trailer.
It's just gonna be a song with pictures because, you know, people who like this aren't talented. So, I'm not gonna play the whole thing because I'd be submitting myself to torture. It's the beginning! I laughed at myself. I'm gonna... I'm sorry. It's the beginning of half-term week. I, I think I'm I think I'm gonna kill you. So my friends had all gone out shopping together and I'd been left to cook dinner. There's a downside to being a brilliant cook. I always have to cook dinner. There's a downside to being a brilliant writer. So you never get to write one direction fix. That joke did not pan out like I thought it would. However, to, I <laughs> however, I to be honest, couldn't be arsed to do much, and we had enough pasta for like fifty thousand people, so I decided to just take a walk. The chilly November wind bit my face as I walked down the street, being pushed in every direction by shoppers. <sighs> Never been to London. So I decided to just give up and go home. I turned the corner to begin the five-minute walk home, and I could hear an unusual amount of screaming coming from around the next corner. It wasn't really on my way home. What? But I have a really curious personality, so I decided to take a peek. A peek as compared to a trough. The top part of a wave as compared to the bottom. As I crossed the road, the screaming intensified, and I could hear the sound of hundreds of running people. If I had any common sense, I would have just walked away. Yeah, idiot. I don't like you because you're stupid. But I was well known for my lack of it. <laughs> yeah, charming. Now, having lived in London all my life, bull, I am not afraid to say that I have seen some pretty strange things in my life. But nothing in my life could have prepared me for what was around that corner. As I walked around the corner, I was just about to look for the source of the noise when something hard and warm smacked right into me. Mm, yeah, 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 it smacked right into you. I felt myself fall backwards, and I let out a hard breath as my arse made contact with the pavement. You're not British. You're not even slightly British. My backside erupted into pain, and my vision went fuzzy. Yep, that will be a bruise in the morning. Shit! I heard five voices yell. That random, just five, only five. I looked up, ready to have a complete fit with these people for knocking me down. But as my vision cleared, I could make out the faces. I suddenly had an urge to let out a huge fangirl scream. You know, British people don't like One Direction. You do know that. Like, British people hate One Direction. That's why they sent them over here. That's... British people like to conserve their music because it's good. And then they send all their bullcrap over here because they know that we're really stupid and will like it. Anyway... Standing in front of me with looks of horror on their faces were five boys, and running around the corner were must, must have been 600 plus screaming girls. And I knew these lads. That's Irish. Their faces were all over my room. Standing in front of me was One Direction. Ah! You're a moron! The Chase, that's the next chapter. That's the name of the next chapter. It's called The Chase. The Chase is the name of the next chapter. And it is so slow. Will you please? I never wanted to read this. I will leave. I will do it. All right. All right, hey, mom. Ah, get up. Go sit there now, Logan. I'm not going to do anything about it. So this is going to be a short one. Clock's in just under 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah. So, uh... I have so many things to publish. There's going to be one of them. Whee! Until next time. Peace out.